Hey guys, uh, sleepless nights, sorry, sleepless night yesterday I would say. I want to convey a short message uh, about what's been happening. I have told my players and myself not to do it because if I do it or if we do it, we are just, you know, dragging the incident, postponing the repercussions or uh, you know unnecessarily giving it the publicity that it doesn't deserve but then the other part of me tells me if we don't come out and say then who's going to do it so the title of the video would be what's at stake you guys need to understand what is at stake only then i think you get the clear understanding of what's happening in any sports scene you guys hail people who come and support Indian gaming community as gods. By apne Indian gaming community ke liye itna kuch kiya hai, wo kiya hai, ye kiya hai. You guys are the best. You hail me and other owners uh, as gods for, for helping the Indian gaming community grow to what it is today. But on the other hand, you are the one. You are the one killing it. It's because of you that Indian gaming community is dying. I'm not talking about one single person here. You is every single person watching this video. And I'll tell you what's at stake first. And then I'll tell you why you are responsible to kill it for killing it. I'll start with my players and tell you what's at stake. Six months back or last year around June, sorry, uh, January, I think exactly a year back, Amatrasu has done a three post story on Instagram telling why he has left Counter-Strike and why uh, he shifted to Valorant. Amatrasu has been playing in Indian esports for the last 15 years, guys. It's, you can call it as a career for him. He is married. His father is going to retire soon and he is the son. And India community, India ka hamara social structure aisa rehta hai that son has to take care of the entire family. And Amatarasu, should I say he chose the wrong field? He chose the Indian gaming community, Indian gaming scene. Usko pasand hai. It's not that he is forced to do it. Usko pasand hai. But that's at stake. When his, fa his father retires, he should be secure socially, financially, personally to take his family forward. Tomorrow he might have kids. School fees barna padega. Kaise karega ye sab? When Amatrasu comes on stream and plays, you guys watch him. You guys say he's the god. He's an IGL. Bachpan se IGL hai. Sab kuch hai. Bolne mein bohut kuch achcha lagta hai. But for him, all that matters is he's doing this for his career. Now that is at stake. His career is at stake. Anuj just bought a new house. Usko EMI pay karna padta hai every month. You know why he has taken it? Not because 5000 people like you watch his stream. No. It's because I pay him salary. Organizations like me pay salary to him. He trusts Team Mahi that he's going to take care of him and uh, you know pay his salary on time so that he gets it on time. What's at stake for me to do that? If you guys come up with incidents like this, why should I continue to do it? Or why should we continue to do it? If I say tomorrow, like, teen saal pahle jo hua hai, because of that riot, India office permanently shut down. Like permanent, period, permanent. There's no riot official person living in India. League of Legends died with that. You guys know it better than me. I was, I just came into Indian esports scene a couple of months back. This is what is at stake. That is what's going to happen if this continues, guys. Each and every youngster who wants to be an aspiring esports professional, who cribs his entire life saying that India me paise nahi hai, India me uh, computer kharidne ke liye paise nahi hai, exposure nahi hai. Sir, mera mom and dad tells me that gaming is a waste of time, gaming is a waste of life, don't do it. Why would they Why would they not do it? I would not tell my son to get into esports. 
why should we why should i when we are getting results like this do you understand why should i do it usko career hai kya usme kuch nahi yahan pe there absolutely nothing it's trash it's just a fame it's just numbers on a wall that means nothing to a person who has to go to a bank and pay emi every month so that's at stake for anuj antidote ne phone kharida hai he has to pay emi even for that every month and he has bought because he knows that i am going to pay him salary every month no that is at stake for him excali tomorrow has to all my players have to get married except for anuj everyone they have to get married marriage ka chodo girlfriend to par pehle you have to spend for your girlfriend right for that that is at stake for him this is being spoiled by acts like these guys you guys need to understand that india as a region is 1.2 billion people it's huge for any developer singapore ka population malaysia ka philippines ka thailand ka they're all individual countries वहाँ पे डेवलप करने के लिए राइट लाइक अ कंपनी हैज टू ओपन एन ऑफिस इच इन ईच एंड एवरी कंट्री बट स्टिल इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया बट इंडिया में एक ऑफिस ओपन करके दे कैन रूल द एंटायर अदर पॉपुलेशन अराउंड हियर दैट इज द पोटेंशियल दैट वी हैव दैट इज अ पोटेंशियल दैट आई सॉ वेन ए गॉट इन टू ई स्पोर्ट्स मेनी अदर्स इन ई स्पोर्ट्स इंडस्ट्री वुड ऑब्वियसली एग्री विथ मी ऋषि को ले लो नहीं तो गोल्डी बाई को ले लो दे वुड ऑल एग्री विद दिस टॉपिक हंड्रेड परसेंट दैट इज अ रीजन वी गॉट इन टू इंडियन ई स्पोर्ट्स एक्ट्स लाइक दीज आर डिस्ट्रॉइंग सो ऑल द यंगस्टर्स हु आर वॉचिंग इट इज एट स्टेक दिस इज अ हाई स्टेक्स गेम वी आर इन्वेस्टिंग मनी एंड प्रमोटिंग समथिंग वी डोंट ओन लाइक आपका खुद का एक कंपनी है तो आप उसको प्रमोट कर सकते हो बिकॉज यू अर्न समथिंग बैक फ्रॉम इट राइट का जो गेम है इज नॉट ओन बाय मी नॉट बाय ग्लोबल ई स्पोर्ट्स नॉट बाय हु आर अदर कंपनी इज कम अ बिग नेक्स्ट वी डोंट ओन इट वी आर प्रमोटिंग इट एंड व्हाट आर वी गेटिंग इन रिटर्न आउट ऑफ इट नथिंग दैट इज व्हाट यू गाइस नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन टुमारो यू स्विच ऑन योर कंप्यूटर एंड यू गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड बाय समथिंग एंड यू डिसाइड टू डू द सेम थिंग बैक टू हिम यू हैव टू लुक एट दिस वीडियो वंस this is at stake people's careers are at stake like subah uthke un logon ko stream karna hai hey like, simple example le lo guys aap logon ka jo bhi stream dekhte ho like uh, simar is going to get into a boot camp very soon haiwan haiwan is in a boot camp right now like un logon ko sankranti festival nahi hota hai kya they, don't they have birthdays don't they have mom's birthdays dad birthdays why should they sit in boot camp and play and practice when they have their own social life kiske liye kar rahe wo log they want to prove themselves in front of you guys that they are the best that is all it nothing else salary sabko mil raha hai don't think they are doing it for money guys you are absolutely wrong they are doing it because they want to prove something in front of you guys they are sacrificing their social life everything to come and stand in front of you for your claps for your you know appraisers that is what they are doing it other than that there's nothing else there's no personal motive for any esports player right now other than this they want to get your support they want to get your love they want to get your claps when they win something india bande toxic hai like people come and ask me on stream why top players play in singapore servers it's a fucking retarded server what we have in mumbai half the people are toxic Nor they are smurfing, or they don't know how to play. It's as simple as that. We ourselves destroy everything. Don't blame anyone else. We we do it. We ourselves destroy what is given to us, and वो हमारा blood में है. But don't think that's a common thing for everyone else. We ourselves do it. But जब velocity gaming playing uh, in PVP, I have never seen uh, any toxic uh, person in the chat. जब देश के लिए होता है. then you all in, unite together but aapas mein jo match hota hai na you guys uh, tend to choose sides and uh, destroy the end and uh, indian gaming scene as such this is what is at stake guys please do understand that don't indulge in activities which are not legal i am not targeting a single person here nor i am ta- talking about a particular incident here 
I am talking about an entire general scenario what is happening. The actions that you do might not affect you, but actions that is being done affects people around you. And directly or indirectly, we have all been affected. The repercussions of what has happened yesterday will be soon revealed to you in coming events. Something happening good for us in India after a long time uh, in PC esports and please don't destroy it by doing acts like these you know which you know only going to make things worse like fortnite ka in world's best player might be among you guys do you have a option to go and represent yourself in the world stage apex legends india's world's best player might be among us you don't have an option to represent yourself Call of Duty Modern Warfare का कुछ हो सकता है PC में You don't have an option to represent yourself. All these PUBG PC best of the best players I know personally are in India. They don't have an option to represent themselves globally. Don't blame you know a developer not coming to India and doing it. There are reasons why they are not coming and doing it. It's because of us. If we don't set things right, if we don't make ourselves right, if we don't change our attitude towards gaming, neither the country is going to recognize it, nor the developer is going to recognize it, nor your parents are going to recognize it. And that will be the final nail in the coffin. You can crib about this every day, waking up, saying, I'm a best player, I don't have an iPhone to perform, I don't have a PC to perform, I play on a 60 hertz monitor, things won't improve overnight things will improve over a period of time and for that improvement everyone's contribution is necessary including audience including the players everyone and if you don't accept it and you don't have the patience to do it do something which is like this which is very disheartening i'm not angry i'm i'm disheartened by what has happened honestly last night I feel very sad, very bad for that kid and also everyone around him that this has to happen again with us. What if some developer comes and tells it's in your blood, it's in your breed, you guys are like that. What would you do? Do you have any defense? I have seen hundreds of Reddit posts praising the achievements of Velocity Gaming, which is Team Ahi right now, but I will say Velocity Gaming. नीचे कमेंट्स में एक ही बात आता है अंटिल लैंड इवेंट्स कम एंड यू गैस प्रूव इट ऑन लैंड इवन इफ यू प्रूव इट ऑन लैंड वी डोंट यू नो एक्सेप्ट इट बिकॉज वी हैव सीन व्हाट हैज हैपन इन द पास्ट हाउ विल यू एवर बी एबल टू वाइप दैट ऑफ योर फेस इफ एवरी वन कलेक्टिवली डजेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टूवर्ड्स इट नो वन कैन सो प्लीज थिंक अबाउट दिस थिंक अबाउट वॉट इज एट स्टेक हुज कैरियर आर यू एफेक्टिंग बाई डूइंग सच एक्शंस and make sure these things don't happen and change the attitude towards it and change the entire indian gaming scene and it's an honest request to all the influencers and all the streamers not to you know publicize this topic and also all the upcoming youtubers because aap logon ko to views and subscribers chahiye and aisa wala topic mein easily mil jata hai and it's my guarantee as well please don't make montages of that video and post it on your channel saying that wo leak hua hai ye leak hua hai expose hua hai ye sab hua hai ban hua hai don't do that don't do this cheap tricks to get views and subscribers you might get it today but ultimately you remember one thing you are still part of the indian gaming scene and you are killing it and you are responsible for it it's a request from my side to every one please think before you act and these kind of actions have lot of repercussions guys my money might go but the time that i spent will never come back and that is valuable to me than the money that i spent same goes with every player who is in my team or who is in other teams money you can earn tomorrow you work 10 hours extra you can make it back but the time that you spent to build something so valuable and it's getting destroyed in front of your own eyes that is very disheartening for me It is disheartening for everyone around me. So please make sure we don't repeat such things again. And every youngster who is watching it, 
our doors are open our emails are open our instagrams are open if you are talented and you want some kind of a help we are there to do it not only me all the others in esports industry are also there to do it but please don't indulge in activities which kills the future of you and also the future of people who are already heavily invested into it this is a small example that i wanted to give it might be a long video to watch but i had to do it otherwise someone has to tell it otherwise it's just getting unheard and unstold about to everyone and people are doing what they want so right if you are watching it we are totally sorry for what has happened and to all the tournament organizers we are totally sorry for what has happened we will strive together to see if we can come out on the other side on the brighter side thank you so much guys see you